kind of defines almost our entire career and, and dare I say, kind of a genre of music. I mean, if we do not play My Friends Over You, we probably would not make it off stage. This is how Newfound Glory wrote My Friends Over You. The single was taken from the album Sticks and Stones, which turns 20 years old this year. Here is Jordan and Cyrus on the writing process behind the song. You know, the writing, it's weird. We don't have much to say about the writing because that song was written last for that record. It was actually the last day of pre-production, the day before I started recording my drums and Chad uh, had an idea for a song. And for me, whenever that happens, I'm like, are you kidding me? You know, one last thing to think about. And it's ironic because that ended up being My Friends Over You, which is our biggest song to date. Um, and that song came together so fast. And at the time, you almost feel like, well, this is just another track you're throwing on the record. And next thing you know, it kind of defines almost our entire career and, and dare I say, kind of a genre of music. And we play, I mean, if we do not play My Friends Over You, we probably would not make it off stage. The music video has now been viewed over 30 million times on YouTube and is full of cameos from the band's friends in other bands. We had like, we wanted to have all these cameos in there and I remember like all these people were in the video, Travis and like Brody, Tim, Tim Stillers, yeah, Tim. Even oh, my, like we're so random. Some like, of my friends from home out. had flown out to, from California. They were in the video. <laughs> yeah, um, that was a fun video to make. Yeah, that yeah, was it was, it was cool because we all kind of gave our own ideas for the video versus just a director telling us what it was going to be. Yeah, um, and they really wanted to emulate like what it was for like our, our live show. Um, hence the guy in the costume flying around and you know, me getting in the crowd and singing and stuff like that. A lot um, of people might not know that the conductor of the choir in the video is Neil Avron, our, who produced and mixed that record, or he yeah. didn't mix that record, but produced that record. Yeah. New Found Glory's latest album, Forever and Ever Times Infinity, was released back in 2020. And as Jordan told us, the sense of nostalgia fueled the writing process for the band. For people to put this record on and, and get those feelings of, of, of good memories and things from, from their past, you know, and even if even if they were going through hard times then, like putting on this record, I feel like it just takes you to a place where it's just makes you feel good. That's your Rock Sound News update. I've been James Wilson-Taylor. We'll see you again soon.